The Pentagon plans to stop taking the freshly built F-35 as they are rolled out of the production line from Lockheed Martin's Fort Worth facility in Texas. As it turns out the reason for the pause is the immaturity of the TR-3 hardware. TR-3 stands for Technology Refresh 3. Currently many of the F-35 have TR-2 configuration which is deemed inadequate for the upcoming Block 4 modernization program. The Block 4 upgrade will bring a new radar and better electronic warfare capabilities and better interoperability with other fighters for the F-35. Major upgrades are confidential but it is now known that Block 4 will bring in a new active electronically scanned array radar and a major upgrade to the jet's distributed aperture system and electro-optical targeting system. The TR-3 initiative will revamp the F-35's computing power, memory unit, and its panoramic cockpit display system. TR-3 can be called as the new computer backbone for the F-35. The first F-35 with TR-3 upgrades flew in January this year. The flight test was only the beginning of flight evaluations with TR-3, and developmental and operational tests will continue through 2023. Technology Refresh 3 modernizes the computational core of the F-35, hence it affects nearly every feature of the aircraft. For now TR-3 development is not complete. The Pentagon will stop accepting F-35 with TR-3 hardware till the program is successfully completed and combat capability is validated. Delay in TR-3 means that the newly built fighters will be safely and securely stored. Dozens of the jets will be stored temporarily at Fort Worth facility. Only the F-35 with TR-3 will be stored while those with TR-2 hardware will be delivered as usual. Initial plan was to take deliveries of F-35 with TR-3 hardware in April this year. But TR-3 got delayed. As per the current plan the US military will only start to receive new F-35s with TR-3 once all development and testing is completed.